Good morning, this is Lisa, Mama Lisa's Bakery. I'm getting fancy on you guys today. Um, I bought this uh, whipped cream machine for $2 up at Dave's shop when he had the antique shop up at Food Lion. It's like $2. They sell for like $30, $25, 30 Of course, this is a retro one. <laughs> you can tell by the box. It's made in like Germany. Anyway, you put these little cartridges in it makes the whipped cream. So, I'm always bad about turning this camera around. This is my coconut cream pie that I have available. Um, it's really good. And uh, today, <clears throat> I'm going to be... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Get over here, maybe. Um... Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to have cinnamon rolls available again and um, some clover leaf rolls or regular yeast rolls, just, just the, the dinner rolls. And I'm um, also by going to try to get it done tomorrow. I get a lot done one day because I don't sleep. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, I think I'm going, oh, not think, I'm going to make some um, strawberry jam. That always sells out so fast. So I think I'm going to make like um, eight jars, and I'll have five available if anybody's interested. Um, when this whole like pandemic started, or whatever you want to call it, last year, I had the worst time trying to find flour. I couldn't find any flour, unbleached flour, and you just can't cook with the bleached flour, doesn't work. Um, unbleached flour, yeast I had to buy by the pound online I had to spend a lot of shipping and I didn't raise my prices and I'm hoping I'm not going to have to but um, it's starting to get to the point where um, the shelves are not stocked full for example last week I went to five stores to get brown sugar and I know how to make <clears throat> light brown sugar, sugar into dark brown sugar just put like a tablespoon of molasses in it and uh for each cup. So <clears throat> I couldn't find brown sugar anywhere. So I couldn't make my rolls. So it's just like those things that I don't, I'm sure you guys have noticed the grocery stores aren't what they used to be with being stocked. That's why I'm always prepared. So I have like tons of jars. I'm not getting caught again with not having any jars, <laughs> having my ingredients in their jars. So <clears throat> I actually drove up this summer, and it was a beautiful drive, um, to Moorfield, West Virginia to get jars. I could not, there was no jars to be found. So I'm pretty well stocked up right now. Um, but just those little things like that. Now, this week, I need um, powdered sugar for my peanut butter balls. No powdered sugar. No powdered sugar. Now, you can make it yourself, but I don't have a food processor you can put it in a blender and blend it up that takes forever it's not the same consistency either so just a little heads up about my shopping uh supply dilemma first it's the pie pans first was the flour the pie pans now it's the brown sugar and the powdered sugar so um i guess that's all that's going on today oh i say if you can see this i sprinkled it with the toasted I gotta find a better de way to do this. <laughs> See. There's my, uh, coconut cream pie. Everything's from scratch and, and my crust and everything. I wouldn't dare use any boxed items. There's so much bad stuff in there. So that's what's going on today. And, um, so cinnamon rolls, I'm going to start them in about two hours. So if you'd like to place an order, they take all day. Um, so if you'd like to place an order, please let me know. And I'll be making um, the rolls, the um, <clears throat> clover leaf rolls, uh, the cinnamon rolls, and the strawberry jam if you'd like to reserve yours. And um, coconut cream pie.
So I want you all to have a great day. God loves you, each and every one of you, and be the reason somebody smiles today.